Welcome to the channel, this is True Productions bringing you a special doubles match play on the famous Tower Ridge 2 course located in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. We have some special guests today, Discraft sponsor, 2019 Wintertime Open Champ, and Wisconsin Bay Ring own Adam Hammes is on the card today with his partner Aaron DeVries, the Wilderness Open runner-up from this year and from Madison, Wisconsin, taking on our very own Jared Newcomb from Chippewa Falls and Mario Shorts from Eau Claire. We have a tricky hole to start us off on this course. We have a dog leg right. You can see the Mando sign on that skinny tree over there on the right side. It looks like Aaron is opting for the more traditional play, a backhand Annie. But it looks like he left that just a little bit too high. We'll see what his lie looks like in just a little bit. Adam steps up to the tee box. Looks like Adam is going right handed as well. We'll see if he can make the correction and maybe not go so deep. This looks to be a lot better. But it is a little deep. We'll see what his lie looks like. A two is probably out of the question from that spot. Mario is up on the tee box. He is a left-handed player. This hole right here does cater to his style of play. That looks like a great release. But again, just a little deep. If you get a little deep, um, a bird is out of the question. So let's see if his partner can uh, correct that and adjust how he throws. It looks like Jared is going for the backhand Annie as well. He's keeping this low. That is diving right exactly how he wants. And you can see that this probably landing in a good favorable spot in the fairway. Adam and his partner are up first. They are behind this barrier of trees. And all they can do is pitch out. The pin is really only 35, 40 feet from there, but there's no way to get to it, so they just gotta settle for a three. Here's Jared for the deuce. Just a little short to take one up on Adam and his partner Aaron. Mario hoping to save him. Air balls as well. It looks like everybody's gonna take a three and move on. Oh, number two, we are throwing from the blue pin all this round. This pin is gonna be in the B position, looking at 379 feet. Aaron is first in the tee box. This is more of a flex forehand if you have that kind of a distance. Oh. Looks like Aaron left it a little short. Adam is up next. He is eyeing the same type of shot, a flex forehand. Let's see if Adam can make it around this corner. That looks to be yeah, pretty yeah. good. That's a great line. And it's coming in hot, and it is part. That is exactly how you want to play this hand if you have that kind of a distance for your forehand. Mario, being a left hand, goes yeah, backhand nice. Annie. That looks to be a good shot. A little bit low, more air time could have really helped. He skids up a little bit. Jerry Newcomb is up next. Looks like he's also eyeballing a forehand flex. Release is a little early. If you do that and get into the right side stuff, you best. are looking at a par at best. So it looks like they're going to go with Mario's shot. Jared takes the bird, misses. Mario steps up. Hopefully, he can make that correction. And he bangs it in for a deuce, putting the pressure on Aaron and his partner, which are parked, so they should be okay on this hole. And nothing but formality. So, deuce for everyone. Oh, number three, looking at 370 feet from the blue pad to the B-pin position. Aaron is going to be first on the box. It looks like this is going to be the order of things if him and his partner are up first. The traditional play here in the long pin should be a forehand flex, just like the last hole. But Aaron goes for the backhand. He almost cans the cameraman, rolls out to a favorable spot. He should be okay from there. Let's see if, it's in the long, isn't it? Uh, if Adam can uh, do one better. Looks like Adam also is going to go for a backhand here. Oh, he releases a little bit early. Let's see if he can sneak through. And he does. Gets around that corner of enough push. And I think he should be in a better lie. We'll take a look in a little bit here. Unsure at that moment, but we'll see. Mario is up. Looks like Mario's gonna go backhand Annie, just like he did with the last shot. 
The only tree to beat is that one right there in the middle. You beat that and get around and you should be okay for at least a three. It is tricky to get all the way to the pin. You gotta really place a perfect shot. Mario clips that tree that I was just talking about and he goes to the right. If you do that, you are gonna be losing strokes on the field. So Jared steps up and Jared leaves it super short. I believe he was going for the backhand skip low shot, just kind of getting into the gap. And as you can see, Mario still has to work and get into that gap. That should be pretty decent. It's hard to see, but you can see the basket with the yellow band way, way there in the wood. And let me just say, it's a, it was a, it's a beautiful day to play disc golf. Look at that weather. Sunny, green. Jared kicks a little left. Hopefully Mario's in a good spot for they, so that they can take their part and move on. Adam with a forehand flex trying to just ring it in. He just comes up a little short. His partner steps up. Looks like he's going to up for the same type of shot. Knowing that Adam is parked, he drives for it and misses as well. Looks like everybody is going to take a three and move on to the next. Hole number four, this one is a shorty sitting in the A pin. It is 209 feet. It's a simple forehand shot, backhand ante. There's a special local route that I won't talk about, but you gotta visit the course to see. So Aaron looks like he's gonna opt for just the forehand, and he does just that. Didn't put enough into it. The tricky thing about this short hole is that it does got some late guardian trees if you don't push that disc enough. To get around those guardian trees, you will fall short and take a three and possibly lo losing strokes to others. Adam looks like he made a perfect correction. That discraft, uh, black disc that he's throwing seems to be doing the job. Just a simple a pitch for him. For zone. He had good Mario steps up being a backhand, uh, a left-handed backhand. This should be just nothing but just a simple backhand hyzer for Mario. And it is just that. It lands in an ideal spot. Should be pretty easy just in case his partner does not get around all those guardian trees. So Jared, forehand as well. Kind of see. Probably like 30% power. And it looks like you may have been running it knowing that his partner was parked. So Aaron taking uh, Adam's fly. Easy deuce. This is a must-deuce hole in tournament or a match play like this, or even casual. Birdie for both, and on to the next. Hole number five, we're looking at 423 feet to the pin. We are in the A position for this round. Aaron is up with a backhand, just trying to lace it down the fairway, and he does just fades a little bit early. We'll see what his line looks like in a bit. Adam steps up. Looks like the way he's facing, he's gonna go with a forehand. And he does. He pipes that down the gap. Gets a favorable kick. Probably about 30, 35 feet to the pin. Mario up, being that the pin is on the right and he's left hand, this should be ideal for a simple backhand for Mario. Oh, he goes with a little backhand flex and he turns it. Not exactly sure where that lie ended up. Jared seeing that opts for the forehand. Jared definitely has the power to get it there. With the forehand, he lets go early and it is hugging that right side a little bit. And it does look like they went with Jared's. He uh, kicked out a little bit to a favorable open spot and they have probably about a 70, 80 footer for their bird. Oh, just a little bit high off that band. Let's see if Mario can cash it in. And a little bit left. A little disappointing. They had an opportunity for sure. Aaron is up. Just a little low. Hits the pole. 
and Adam seeing if it can even it up right here. And Adam cashes in from about 40. We are at hole number six, 389 feet to the B pin. This is definitely a really tricky shot. It looks like a, from the uh, T sign, looks like a simple forehand flex, but that is not the case because you're off the T, the right side is very, very tight. So you have to almost go for a backhand. And it looks like we missed Aaron's tee shot. He went in a little early. Adam notices and recognizes this shape of this hole and he is going to opt for the backhand. Hopefully he picks something overstable. He did not. Looks like that is holding its line and turning over and into the right side. You do not want to be on the right side. You are going to be losing strokes. Mario being a left-hander looks like he's going to go for the forehand flex shot which is the ideal shot if you are left hand. He left it super low, but it looks like that may have been intentional. You see that skip? And Jared just a little bit early release, and he is in the fix. This is Adam and his partner. Looks like they are opting for the better lie, which is not good. Looks like they may just be pitching out or trying to just make the best of their situation there. They are looking at the pin, but it's uh, not going to be an easy par. So Aaron, also forehands out of that thick stuff. He went a little deeper than, than Adam. Uh, we didn't get to catch Mario, but I believe that was Mario's second shot. And they are in the deep. Uh, again, if you miss his fairway, it can be very tricky. It looks like this might be a, a Tommy over the top into the clearing. Not terrible. Adam is up. It looks like they went with Aaron's lie. They have a long one here to save their par. From where they were, that's not a terrible place to be. Oh, great pull. Just a little high off that band. In Eau Claire, we call hitting off that band Donkey. I don't know where the history of that. Aaron zipping it, going a little right. And this should up one on Adam and his partner Aaron from Madison, Wisconsin. Oh, just a little early release. He also had an early release on his drive. And it looked like it continued into this par save. And Mario, a little bit too fast of a putt, maybe, skips off the top. And it looks like we're going to be tied up for this hole going into the next one. We are at hole number 7, 395 feet in the B position. This is a pretty tricky shot. You got a good fairway. But uh, this is a backhand Annie. Got to pick a disc that can also go right. Have enough glide to carry you all the way to the pin. Adam takes that traditional route. It looks like you got through everything. And he is in a pretty decent spot. Let's see if his partner can do one better. Also going for the same type of shot. And it looks like he blasts this one. Let's see if he can get around all that stuff. And it does. It, went, it goes a little bit deep. He should be okay. They should have a shot from there if they choose that line. Mario is next. Again, this is playing in favor of uh, uh, left-handers. This is pretty much a simple backhand. Mario does just that. Picks a disc that uh, just really has good glide. 
and it gets well into a favorable spot there. Jared is up. He is going backhand. I'm surprised with his power. He's not doing a forehand. Just, he's going way up, Annie. Hoping to go over all that stuff. And, and he does. He gets all the way over all that stuff and got into a great place. Looks like Aaron and them are going with, oh, I'm sorry. Looks like Adam and Aaron are going with Aaron's lie. This is a pretty far putt. And just a little bit short and to the right. Aaron really knows how important this shot is. Zips it a little bit harder, a little bit high though. It looks like it had the perfect lie, just not the correct height. And it looks like Mario and Jerry took Jared's lie, which was a great tee shot off of the tee box. And he cashes in for a do. So that's not really easy to do, unless if you're a pro like these guys, Ams, you're probably going to play position in 4 3. But we are watching something special today. Thanks for tuning in again. This is the wrong T sign. This is hole 8 on Tower Ridge 1. We are at hole 8 on Tower Ridge 2. Looks like we also missed some uh, drive footage. Mario and his partner Jared should be first on the tee box. With the screen disc here, I would guess that that would be Mario's drive. That is a great spot. This pin position is pretty tricky. From the tee box, you will have to throw an understable disc so that it will finish right. Or if you got the forehand like these guys, you just want to go forehand straight down the gut. And it looks like somebody tried to do too much, left it early, and ended about the short tee pad, which is not a great, uh, which is not a terrible place to be. You can get a three from there if you can get your second shot correctly. Somebody went into the right side there. That's going to be very challenging. It looks like it was Adam and his partner Aaron. And as you can see, it is very challenging. He's even opting for a scuba. Looks like Adam sees something here. Try to salvage what they can from this lie, which is very, very difficult. Fairway is definitely over 30 feet, but if you want to get all the way to the pin, you got to take a lot of risk. Looks like that risk didn't really pay off for Adam and his partner. Aaron looks like found a window and hit the gap. They should be okay. Jared and Mario are going to take Mario's spot. They should be about 45, 50 feet away. And Jared just left it a little high and left. A little disappointed walking off. It looks like Mario steps up, understands the circumstance here to kind of keep the tee box. And, oh, that looked like a perfect line. Just a little high hits off that band again. Once again, in no clear, we call that a donkey. We are halfway through the round. This is hole number nine. This is a shorty and another musket, depending on the type of player. This could be a putter shot or a mid-range, and that's pretty much about it. it. Looks like Mario's partner are up first. Mario up for the backhand. Great shot, but just left it right in the walking path about 40 50 feet to the left of the pin jerry up for the forehand a great choice a little early release again it looks like that's a common theme for this first front nine hopefully he can correct that during the back nine of play adam up grabbing that four time Macbeth zone puts a little annie on there probably about 30 40 percent power Gets it to an ideal spot. They should be putting for a two. And Aaron, seeing that Adam is parked, zips it. And 
he kicks off badly, goes back into the walking path. So they do take Adam's spot. Aaron is up to putt first. Great putt right in, but right through. Very unfortunate. Adam steps up. Hopefully he, he can make this correction. Otherwise, they may lose the box on the next hole to Mario and Jared. Adam makes good. No worries there. Picks up the disc. A little frustrated that uh, his partner's disc probably slipped through. Nothing wrong with the chain. Probably just a uh, misfortune. I don't know if it was nerves there. It can't be. We're nine holes in already. Jared leaving the shore again. Again, seems to be a common theme for this first round. Mario steps up, understands the circumstance and the situation. Hopefully, hopefully he can make the correction. He does not and gives up a stroke to the other group. Thanks for tuning in to this front nine coverage of this doubles match play. I hope to see you on the back nine soon. If you have not played here before, this is a perfect opportunity for you. The Tower Ridge Open is coming up fast, August 8th and 9th, right here in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Make sure that you sign up for SponsorCon. This is a Wisconsin Tour stop, so if you are chasing a tour title, make sure you do not miss this chance to play one of Wisconsin's top courses. Special thanks to Dave Walker, course manager for the Chippewa Valley Disc Golf Organization for keeping this course up to par so that everyone can enjoy a great round right here at Tower Ridge 2.